All right, boys, I've got a pretty big announcement right here. This might catch a lot of you by surprise, but I am now sponsored by Boohoo Mike. I'm sure you guys have heard of it already, but if you don't know, it's a clothing company that sells high quality clothes at a good price too. Like this hoodie right here, a whole vibe, man. But like I said, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. The likes of Quavo, Lil Mosey are currently working with Boohoo Mike. And now I'm working with him. So yeah, if you want to buy anything off the website, I would say do it now because I've actually got a code. So the link will be in the description to the website. And if you want to get 30% off whatever you buy, man, you can use code Brothers 30 It'll be on screen right now and in the description. Take advantage of it, man, honestly. But yeah, man, I'm excited to be working with him. And make sure you check out the link in the description, man. All right, yo, what's going on, guys, man? So today, you know, Infinity Ward just did something really, really sneaky that I had no idea about. So basically, with the Uzi, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will have had no idea about this. So yesterday, they added an update into this game. I'm sure you guys know. I made a video on, like, the new org or something like that. But they've actually added some brand new attachments into the game for the Uzi and the Uzi only. So they've added a new barrel, which is the F double S Orion, which adds more damage, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So this is about to be absolutely insane. But not only that, they've added another ammunition, which is the point. 41 AE 25 round mags, which increases the damage and range. I don't even know, man. So, bro, they actually just made the Uzi powerful. And the craziest thing about this is the fact that this, all these attachments right here that I've gotten specifically, I've tried it in custom games and it actually makes it a two shot weapon. The Uzi is now a two shot, bro. What the hell is that? So this is what we're going to be using. They actually added a challenge for each of these two attachments right here. I believe for the ammunition, you needed hip fire kills. So like three hip fire kills in five different games. And then also for the new barrel, I think you needed to use the new bullets that you've just unlocked and the woodstock, the standard issue woodstock, man. And then you need to get long shots, like two long shots in five different games again. The challenges were kind of bugged anyway, to be fair. A lot of people were saying they weren't working, but mine were working. I just had to like play like 10 different games. But yeah, we're going to be trying out this brand new two shot Uzi, man. But yo, before we get into this, if you guys could drop an early like on the video, that would be a pre Appreciated, man. I'm sure this might be the first time you've seen these new attachments or even heard about them. So yeah, if you could drop a like on the video, that would be appreciated, man. And also, if you do want to be featured at the end of one of my videos, then basically all you need to do is hit the bell to turn on post notifications. Then also let me know what you think of this new two-shot Uzi, man. I'm hyped to use it. Uh, yeah. It's funny because a lot of people actually don't know about these attachments still. And if you do know about them, you think they're bugged, like you can't actually unlock them, which you can. Or uh, yeah, it's just a little bit more difficult because a lot of the time it won't register. But there is like certain techniques to be able to do do it and for it to work out like i figured out one like you kind of have to play like a full game knowing it won't register and then the next one once you get like i don't know whatever the challenge wants you can just like back out after you've done it and then you'll get it it's kind of weird you just have to play one full game it won't register and then do the next one and it will work that's how it works for me anyway okay yeah it might be over for me low key we go bro i'm telling you it melts now it actually melts now it's crazy i don't know why they didn't just do like a regular buff like they decided to add like completely new attachments to it which i guess makes sense i think it's pretty cool man like they might start doing this with like other weapons too depending on like what actually needs to become a lot better i don't know but i, I definitely cannot say i expect it oh bro there's only two people left in the game Are you serious mate why's everyone always got to back out man there's a guy on, on b <laughs> Downside is again, it's only got 25 bullets in each clip, so yeah. It's not the greatest way, like you try to push absolutely everything. Oh, flip. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, even though it melts, I'm still in my head thinking it's the old Uzi, so I don't feel safe, man. Oh my, bro, how do I choke that? I hate recording my first game on, man. It always somehow goes completely wrong. But so close to going well. That's, <laughs> that was the annoying thing about it. It's always so close to going perfect. But then I choked the advance and now everything is ruined, man. I don't know. Yo, I can't believe certain people. Get his UAV out. Yeah, man, they've actually made it so much better with these attachments. I'm telling you. Bro. Like, what? How oh, I just wasted a veto. Wait, why did you stop? What was that? Bravo secure. What? <laughs> what the flip is that? Of course, of course, of flipping course. One off the advanced again. Bro, this weapon's actually good though. <laughs> I'm just getting unlucky, I reckon. Like, how am I gonna die one off the advanced? That's just annoying, bro. I'm actually mad. I'm actually salty about that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just like that once again. <laughs> We're on some ground war. I don't know how the Uzi's gonna work. It's gonna work on ground war though, to be fair. 
Bro, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people that I'm seeing. I've only got 25 bullets in each mic. So... Did we get that guy? Yeah, we did. Wait, there's another one there. Low key. I remember... Okay, there we go. Bro, when you have D, and you just spawn at Delta, bro, it's the best thing ever, low key. You just run from this middle area right here, and then run through. And you just always forget that I'm here, man. Until they start noticing, and they start pre me with a sniper and stuff like that. Here we go. Yo, teammate. Yo, teammate. Teammate, relax. Are you so weak? Oh, no, boys. I'm probably pushing my luck out here now. I just don't feel safe over there at all, bro. Yeah, man, the new Uzi's good. I just want to whip up an advance for you guys, man. But I'm struggling a little bit. There's one. Anyone else? No, we're good. We need the teammates to relax on the flags, man. Like, we didn't want Delta. The whole point of me running here was because... Oh, man. Get him? Oh, we actually did as well. Yo, low key, boys. Low key, boys. I've got kill chain on. So, if my Vito gets some kills, we might be able to get our advance off of this. Which is a vibe. I think my Vito got destroyed. Oh, no. He's still up. He's still up. I need one more. Um, okay, we got the advance. We got the advance. All right, we're out here now. I don't want to use it just yet, just because I don't think that's the best idea. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Sack it, boys. No, no. That goes for me. There's one. But these guys are going to keep challenging here. That actually just helps out so much. There's another one. Wait. There's another one. There's another one. Bro, this is not easy. Trying to get to there. Oh, bro, I should have gone... Oh, flip. Bro, they all just... Bro. Bro. No. How have you got the spawn protection still? I wish I had bouncing Betty's on right now. The fact that I don't have bouncing Betty's on... Really killing my vibe. Killing my vibe completely low key. Guy right here. Flip. It's scary because they all. They all know. I got it! <laughs> bro, flip, I was nervous. Why is it always the final kill that's the scariest one? I swear it is. The guy right here. Bro, oh my days. Yo, make sure you guys drop a like, man. The Uzi is now good. It's now usable. Realistically, that's insane, bro. <laughs> oh, man, he's take a drink of water after that. Flip. There was like a couple guys that kept hunting me and... I'll be honest, like, I was completely scared. I was, like, so nervous throughout that whole time. And I did not think I was going to survive all that. But, hold up, let me chuck that over there. <laughs> but we did. We survived it. Like, I wouldn't even try to drop a nuke with an old Uzi, bro. In fact, I did when I was doing, like, the weakest weapon things. But, yeah, over the nap, man, yeah, that's, like, it's not a weapon that you'd go for a nuke with. Do you know what I mean? And to be honest, I wasn't really going for a nuke in this one. It just kind of happened. Like, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, it just kind of happened. Like, there's no way I was stressing myself out about going for a nuke. But when you're so close to it, you almost have to get it. Like, if I would have died on a 29 right there, like, bro, best believe I'd have been... I'd have been hurt. Like, that's that's crying stuff right there. And the fact that I didn't have a bouncing Betty either was also very, very, very scary. And the fact that I didn't have a UAV as well was so scary, man. Bro, that... Ammo box! Ammo box and C4 is the worst combination. I can tell you guys that for free. For free. The one on the other team's popping off as well. He got a trap gun or everything. But yeah, little did they know. Little did they know I've got a nuke in my back pocket, man. I would say the only downside to the Uzi now is the fact that, I don't know, it only has 25 bullets in each mag. That's probably the only thing that puts me off it. I probably wouldn't use it normally, but it's definitely like a good weapon to use. And now it's actually a usable weapon. Do you know what I mean? Like previously, nah, not at all. It's just how powerful it is, bro. You get two headshots, connect with two headshots. It's a two shot for sure. Like back in the day, before these attachments, man, yeah, that was not the case. I can tell you guys that for free. That was not the case at all you have to try a little bit harder to hit a few more shots i wish people would understand how difficult it actually kind of is to get like a nuke on ground war playing solo you know when you're running with a squad it's, it's low-key pretty easy i'm not gonna lie like you know you're feeding off each other's advances and stuff like that like i don't know you're getting multiple advanced uavs 
all that different stuff. That's easy. Bro, I missed both of those. Let me try to get up here. Get that one. Not that scared, though. Already got a nuke, so there's not much I really need to worry about, to be honest. Not much at all. There's another one. Another advanced UAV. If we play this right. What? <laughs> oh, bro. I would have got my advance actually if I put my VTOL out, but there was no space. But let's call in this nuke with the new Uzi, with the new attachments, just to prove it, just to prove that I'm not playing with this earlier. Here we go. The new attachments right here. You guys know the vibes, man. Come on now. Tactical nuke. Again, I really wasn't going for this, but it just seems to happen. It definitely just seems to happen. There it is right there. Come on. Bang. There we go. You guys know the vibes. Again, drop a like to the video. You already know what to do, man. The new Uzi with the new attachments, man. Two-shot Uzi. Actually beautiful, man. Like I said, if you hit your shots, it's actually over for him, man. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm actually happy with the new Uzi, though, to be fair. Like, they didn't just buff it. They added new attachments to, to where, like, to where like you can really, like, do what you want with it. That's cool. I think that's a great idea. 74 kills with it, 274 and 9. That's a vibe.